Hello guys and welcome to the UMI London and Ligu 5 comparison. Today I'm going to compare some of the specs, a little bit about the camera, battery draining, sound and just general performance of both phones. So here we have both the phones here. We've got the Ligu M5 on the left and the Umi London on the right. Both from Gearbest and the M5 is £59 and the Umi London is around £53. They're both running 720p displays with a 5 inch screen. They both run the Mali 400 graphics and they both run the MT6580 1.3 GHz. That's a quad core as well. Identical at the moment, bang on identical. They're both rugged phones as well. I'd probably say the Uma London feels less rugged than the M5. I think the Ligu M5 feels a bit more solid in the hand. Both have an eight megapixel camera on the rear. The Umi London has a two megapixel camera on the front and the Ligu M5 has a five megapixel camera on the front. Slight difference in there and you'll see that in the, uh, the camera and the video footage in a bit. Umi London has one gig of RAM and the Ligu M5 has two gig of RAM and the Umi London has eight gig of ROM and the M5 has 16 gig of ROM. And another feature on the M5 is a fingerprint scanner where the London does not have a fingerprint scanner. Okay, video recording for both phones. On the rear of the M5, there is a 1080p setting and a 720p setting. On the Umi London for the rear, you have low, medium, high and fine settings for video recording. And then on the front facing camera on the M5 for video recording, it's just QCIF and it's not brilliant, which you'll see in a moment as well. And the front facing camera on the Umi London for video, you have low and high settings for the front camera. Okay, battery, battery on the M5 is 2300 milliamps and the battery on the Umi London is 2050 milliamps. M5 slightly bigger, but that'll take me on to the next thing just now. Earlier on, I did a battery drain test on both phones, and here is the evidence. Here we go, guys. They're both at 99%. We're going to play a video now for about 15 minutes and see how the battery drain goes. Okay, let's check the let's go and check the battery now on both of these devices. So 95% on the Ligo M5 and 94% on the Umi London. So as you can see, there is not much difference between them at all. It was around about 15 minutes of video, obviously sped up. Battery life very very similar. Okay, so we take a look at the back of the phones. Um, they both have a plastic removable back. Umi London is black, so the marks do show up a little bit more than they would do on the Ligo M5 on the left. You can see the camera, rear cameras on both, just there. Fingerprint sensor on the back of the Ligo M5. At the back of the Ligo M5, you have a rear speaker grill, where on the Umi London is at the bottom. If we have a look at the bottom on here then, on both phones, Ligo M5 has a micro SD at the bottom and the speaker grill at the bottom on the Umi London. Take them to the top. Umi London has the micro USB port at the top and they both have headphone jacks at the top as well. Side view, very similar. Thickness as well is, I believe it's exactly the same. The, the, both got that metal frame around the edge. Pretty, very much identical to be honest. Let's go around the other side. Same again lot, pretty much identical. Got your power and your volume up and down on both on that side. Now the diff one thing that is different on the frame of the Ligo M5 is that the frame is a continuous frame all round. Yeah, there's no joins in the corner. Whereas the Umi London, you have a join right there, which you can see. So it's not an all round frame. There you go, more joins there as well. But other than that, pretty much identical as, as far as sort of shape and size goes. Let's have a look at height or length. 
pretty much. I'd probably say the Umi London is slightly longer. Let's get something flat to put flush against there. Yeah. Not much in it at all. Width. Maybe Umi London's just slightly wider. Both feel really nice in the hand. Well, as I said earlier, the Ligo M5 feels more of a solid phone. And it ought to be with them um, apparently bulletproof bulletproof glass. Now one of the other plus sides for the Umi London is that it has LED notification, whereas the M5 there is no LED notification at all. Let's have a look at the uh, screen brightness. So screen brightness is right down on both of them at the moment. So it is quite dim and dull. I think you'd probably see the M5 a little bit better outside than you would do the Umi London. A slightly duller tone to the Umi London in dark. Let's whack the brightness up on both of them right to the top. There you go. Fairly bright. Not too bad. I prefer the M5 screen, more of a natural sort of tone and colour. Um, there's sort of a darky colour to the Umi London. Not as crisp, I don't think, as the M5, but there's not much in it. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick test on installing an application, which is faster at downloading and which is faster at installing it. Going to install Snapchat. Install. Accept. Okay, let's see who's the winner. It's quite a big download, it's 70 megabytes. And we have the M5 racing ahead at 23, 24%. So M5 is still ahead, downloading. The M5 is a good sort of 10% further than the Umi London at the moment. Oh, both 100%. Uh, they've caught up. M5 installing, Umi London installing. There we go. Oh, and the Umi London has won. That is a first. The M5, come on. And there we go. Some moments after the M5 is done. Okay. Okay, so on to the camera picture and video sort of comparison. Right, so the Umi London here on the right has a 2 megapixel front facing camera and this M5 has a 5 me megapixel camera. Um, Umi London is quite washed out um, with the M5 quite more vibrant and a bit more colourful. Um, those are quite... Don't look too bad, I mean... It looks like maybe a little bit more noise on the M5. But I'll include the pictures in a moment so you can have a good look. Um, but in terms of looking at it like that, the M5 looks looks better, more colour, more vibrant. Okay, so both have a 8 megapixel rear camera. Yeah, see, I think there is more more noise in the M5 when zoomed in. Not that you really need to zoom in. On this one, the rear camera looks slightly more vibrant, a bit more colour in the picture there. But I suppose the M5 looks a little bit more natural. Again, I'll include this on the video so you can see. So the front-facing video camera. Now, the front-facing one on the Umi London, you have a setting of low, medium, high and fine. On here, I had it set to fine. And on here, you only have a front-facing camera with a setting of QCIF. So I'll just quickly show you there. And I'll include these in a moment. Let's just turn that down. You could be able to see the and hear the audio in a moment when you see it properly. But the M5 is, the front-facing camera video is not very good. Very pixelated. Although the colour does look better than the Umi London, but the Umi London's got a crisper, crisper image, slightly washed out, but definitely better than the M5. So I'll show you all these right now.
front camera on the Emu London looks a little bit better than the Liga M5. I'll let you decide. Front camera on the Emu London looks a little bit better than the Liga M5. I'll let you decide. Off. Okay, next I'm going to show you sound. Try and lock the fingerprint. See that although it has this fingerprint, it's not accurate. It's not always accurate. I have to end up putting the code in. Okay, so, and another thing about the M5, YouTube is very buggy. It would just swirl around like that. And you can't update this version of YouTube on the M5 for some reason. Maybe an update on the Lego M5 will solve this. So you just get stuck with that swirling sort of circle. I have to sort of go into my channel to get a video up. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to play the intro onto my uh, in my video. Okay, so the M5 on the left is louder than the Umi London. The sound quality is about the same, but what I'll do now is I'll play them separately, and you can hear for yourself. Okay, so the M5 wins hands down on the audio loudness, uh, a lot louder and a lot clearer. Yeah, and both had the bass loudness setting on. Just have to double check that. So the million dollar question is, which phone do you go for? It is a tough one. Battery drainage and usage is very much the same. You won't get a, a day's use out of both of them. Going on screen, I prefer the M5 screen, it's much brighter and more natural colors. The camera, front facing camera on here, or video, is better than it is on this because it's only got that QCIF. But then the rear camera, I'd say, is slightly better than the Umi London. Um, there's too many different variables and differences. You get a fingerprint scanner on the back of here, but you don't on this. But to be honest, the Lego M5 fingerprint sensor or scanner doesn't work all the time so is it really worth having it on uh, the youtube app is a bit annoying on the m5 because it just spins around and gives you an error whereas the umi london youtube works absolutely fine now i'm sh pretty sure there'll be an update for the Lego m5 in the future very soon because at the moment if you go down to about phone software or system upgrade sorry you will see that the version is test at the moment now the version before this was exactly the same but without the test. So I'm assuming this OS ROM version is testing at the moment and they've got a few things to iron out. But if they do iron them out, then I think this is a, it's a fantastic phone. They're both great phones. But I'm probably edging towards the UMI London because I don't like buggy phones. Uh, but I suppose at the end of the day it's up to you to decide guys and I'd like to know what you think uh, from the evidence of this video that I've provided for you. 
Uh, I really hope it's helped you. But yeah, very difficult decision. Very. Okay, so that concludes the Umi London and Liga M5 comparison. Hope it's helped, guys. If it has, give the video a massive thumbs up. If there's any questions, please comment below and I'll answer them as best as possible. But I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.